is so angry. Oh my god. What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Gills and Fins. Today we're gonna be looking at my pond, the latest updates on it, like we got plants, we've landscaped it a bit, we got eggs, we got baby fish, so that means there's a lot of new fish that are gonna be introduced into the pond. We're gonna be getting new fish for the pond, stay tuned for that. So you can see the eggs all right there. And that's my new Oscar and my older new Oscar, which I'm guessing that's the male. He gets so angry. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> he jumped out of the water from my hand. All right guys, so just as things gonna get any more interesting, after I noticed the Oscars have laid eggs, there's mine cichlids swimming around with fry and babies. Like there's a mine cichlid right there that has this fry right there. The eggs just hatched probably like yesterday, the day before, which I never noticed until today. And the other group of mine cichlids are right back there and they are guarding fry. So there are the two mine cichlids right there and fry right behind what I'm guessing is the male I'm definitely gonna get some underwater footage of that starting now I can't snap with that finger hang on there we go typically the the female will be the bigger one and the male will be the smaller fish in the pair but as you can see there's a whole ball of little baby fish all that right there is baby fish. I recently got a new Oscar, which is that one right there. It's an albino tiger. And I'm guessing that's the female. And my other new Oscar that I got a couple months ago, which is that one, which is just a regular tiger Oscar, which I have another one that I've had since 2012, I think. He's somewhere in the pond. I'm thinking that might be him back there I'm not sure but yeah the Oscars is doing really good so are the cichlids the Malawi cichlids is doing really good haven't seen any baby Malawi cichlids yet though don't know why but the ones I've had I've been getting bigger and bigger by the day the koi I know some of you have been asking how the koi been doing the koi have been doing really good they're all in that group right there My Ochiba, my Tancho Goshiki, my Tancho, my Matsuwa, and my Showa. Uh, where's my Kikuku? There's my Kikuku. I can't say that right. <laughs> uh, my Kohaku, somewhere right there. It's my Kohaku. And I don't know the names to all the other ones. But. I'm learning. They are all doing really good. They've been growing really big, really fast. Some of them are on the 14, 15 inch range already. They already get the big koi attitude, eating whatever they can. I can't wait to see them grow like big already. But yeah, we're gonna go back one of these days to my friend's pond, which sadly he's moving to another house. So. That's not gonna be his pond for any longer. But we're gonna go and get more koi and more Malawi cichlids. There's also more cichlids like Trophius, the Malawis. I'm not sure the proper name of them, but I guess the electric blues. We're gonna get more of those, the electric yellows, I think they're called too. So yeah, we're gonna restock this pond again for like the third time. So we're gonna get the fish today with the cast net. Again, I know you guys don't really like that. This is the best way, I think, that we can catch them. We don't have any other, like, style nets or anything. 
The other way I could catch them is with a rod and line and a hook, which the odds of them eating again are very low. I think this is the best bet. I've caught fish with the cast net and the same day they start eating. So if I catch them with a hook and line, they will probably start eating in three days or never again. So best bet right here at the cast net. We already got the coolers loaded up with water, We're ready to go. I wonder how good I'm gonna throw the net, it's been a while. Pretty sure it's gonna come out good. I usually throw a nice pancake. Oh, I like that one, that one's sick. Dang it, no koi. <laughs> All right. Here we got a bunch of Malawi cichlids from Africa. Put them all in the cooler. Little one. Here we go. Sick. That one's got green ring scales. Nice. Here we go. Those toys too. Alright, we're gonna put the koi in that cooler and the cichlids in this one. This one's nice. Very nice koi. Doi 2 butterfly. I think this is a sanke. Very nice. The ghost. Blue back, that one's nice. guys in here. I've always wanted one of these. It's a Kage Shiro what, butterfly. Beautiful fish is fat too. There you go with your little friends, buddy. Wow. like orange spots on them, red spots. All right guys, it got dark pretty quick, but I'm back at my house now. We're gonna put the fish in some bags and acclimate them in the pond and let them float around for a bit. Let them get used to the temperature of the pond. And yeah, I also got this light, so you can actually see the fish better. So yeah, let's get to that. All right, so unfortunately, we don't have any bags to acclimate the fish. But, we do have a bucket. Just giving you guys a quick little look at the koi. Koi are literally my new favorite fish. 
Secrets, eh, they're alright. I mean, they're cool, but I don't know. I like the Koi better. Of course, they get bigger too. So, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put these guys in a bucket and go ahead and knock them middle from there. Alright, I think that's more than enough water. I'm gonna have to actually dump some of it out. Got some in my shoe. You always wanna get water in your shoe. Always. Start off with the small ones first. Look at them. Very nice fish. All right, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and release them into the pond. I think it's been long enough that they've been acclimating, and the water temperature seems to be around the same. It goes the Ginrin Sanke, which I think that's a Sanke. Correct me if I'm wrong. A butterfly ghost. Again, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm still learning this, guys. Not sure what that one is. I think this one's a Kikukuru and a Matsuba. So, there they go. There goes that one. We'll swim off in a second. Let's go ahead and put the Chagoy and uh, <clears throat> I always forget this one. I always get confused with the Shiro Tsuri. I mean, the yeah, the Shiro Tsuri. This is the Kage Shiro. Butterfly Kage Shiro. What I've heard is this one will be like the leader of the pond. Like everybody will follow this one around and this one will eat out of your hand. It will be like the most friendly koi in the pond. black spot on his head that's gonna fill in once the fish ages more so eventually it's gonna look like it's back are gonna look amazing when they're big. Well let's go ahead and add the African cichlids. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting on this. Alright guys so we're gonna go ahead and put these guys in the pond. Oh my god. It's a cloud of them. I already had a cloud in here before. Now there's even like now there's an even bigger cloud. They'll swim off in just a second. Look, there they go. Alright, anyways, we'll check back on the fish tomorrow and also continue showing you guys all the new updates on the big pond. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright, welcome back guys. It's probably been close to a week since we've added the fish to the pond and the koi are doing amazing. They've been getting bigger and bigger by the day. I've been uh, feeding them different food that I've been mixing myself. I've been getting, um, what did I show you? Hang on. So what I've been doing is I've been mixing 
all this seafood food with the koi food into here, which the koi food. Okay, so the protein, it's 28% on this bag. And for this one, I think it's around like 40%. 47% protein. And this one is 42% protein. So with all that, I think we're going to have some monster koi very soon. Alright, anyways, let's get back on subject here. So the Tiger Oscars, they unfortunately lost their eggs, but I don't know what happened. They laid eggs again, which you can see them all right there. As you can see, they're, they're very angry fish. <laughs> all I do is stand here sometimes. They try to jump out of the water. They're very funny. But yeah, the water's a little bit turned up right now due to all the koi eating on the bottom. And they stir up all the sand that's on the bottom, but if not, it will be crystal clear. And for the Maya cichlids, they've been doing pretty good. Uh, the fry ball has dropped in numbers pretty quick, which is also a good thing because we don't want to have an overpopulated pond with just Maya cichlids. Those things will overpopulate the pond, just like all the Malawi cichlids here too. Alright, so now let's move on to the landscape part of the pond. So what we did is we got a drill and we drilled in holes into the rock and then we put in these little bromeliads and it looks pretty cool. We put the Buddha there, we got another Buddha over there hiding in the rocks. So we pretty much landscaped the whole waterfall with just bromeliads and we put some around there. Anywhere you look you see a bromeliad which is pretty cool. And we also did the same thing for these big stones that are right here in the pond. As you can see. We drew it a big hole and then we planted the vermilion into the rock. And then they eventually root into the rock and then they they're pretty much stuck. Pretty simple. But for all the ferns that you see around, like these, those have grown by themselves. Every single one of them. None of them was planted on the pond. Like back there, it's been overgrown. We're gonna have to pull some of that out. Which I don't know, I kinda like it. It, it looks pretty cool. It looks more natural that way. Right, anyways guys, this pretty much concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like and comment down below what do you wanna see uh, me do with the pond. There's plenty of things we need to do to it, which I know we gotta do some aquatic plants. That's been on the list for a bit. We got one over there, but it's not really an aquatic plant. <laughs> so you guys let me know down in the comments what do you want to see with the big pond. I got a, I got some more plans though. We're gonna be making another pond soon. We're gonna be doing feeding videos on the big pond itself, on the bass pond, on the mini pond, which a lot of you guys think that the fish are dead. Yeah, some of them died, which there's like four or five left but they died, I guess, because of the raccoons. I'm not sure, I do have raccoons that come and take the fish every once in a while, which thankfully they haven't gone to this one. They haven't figured out this fish in here yet. If not, we would have had a problem. Uh, probably more stocking videos. I wanna get another fish for the mini bass pond. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.